My name is Will Kutsia. I work for Mohala Kwena Craft Art Development Foundation, a small craft art company based in Limpopo in the north of South Africa. We produce craft art and sell it through our gallery in Cape Town and export into the international market. The topic of my MBA thesis at the University of Stellenbosch Business School was to develop a strategic marketing plan into the international market for Mohala Kwena Craft Art. After completing my MBA, I have now embarked on a PhD, also at the University of Stellenbosch Business School, focusing on the social entrepreneurship aspects of a small company in South Africa. These uh, social entrepreneurship aspects look at the triple bottom line, which is people, planet and profits. And what we add in the end is a third one to say responsibility, to look at our role in the bigger community. Mohala Kwena Craft Art was established in 1994 in a small shed employing about four women. Since then we've grown to employ 30 women full-time. We've also established a gallery in Cape Town and export our products. So expanding the business not just into other areas of South Africa but into other areas of the world has been the biggest achievement to date and seeing the effect that the growing business has had on the employees is very inspiring. Our property borders on the Leboa Tribal Trust land, where more than one million people live in very impoverished conditions. We employ 80% women and tap from their skills, their cultural um, heritage, in order to produce our artworks. So the people that work for us don't just get to um, benefit through uh, money or remuneration, but actually get to use and share their culture as well. Further than that, we also offer uh, first aid awareness and AIDS um, workshops to help uh, train people and teach them how to look after themselves as well. In my opinion, it is imperative that every individual in an organization acts as a leader. There are four main attributes of leadership that are non-negotiable. These form the acronym of FEAR. Focus, laser-like focus. Energy, action, and respect. However, exceptional leaders share an uncommon attribute, charisma. According to the dictionary, charisma is a special magnetic property, um, a power of the individual. In my opinion, charisma is presence, it is self-assurance, and most importantly, charisma is the ability to inspire enthusiasm in people. In our organization, the main challenge we have is that we work with people from different cultures. So to get leadership um, out of people or to get people to show leadership, we need to first of all communicate with different people across the cultures, across genders, for us, the first barrier to break down in getting people to communicate is using humor. When people can laugh together, they communicate so much better. So once we get people to communicate, getting people to be leaders is quite easy. A focus on sustainability is imperative. We have a strong focus not on just uh, the sustainability of people and cultures, but also in terms of the materials that we use and the resources that we use. And in our industry, once one company starts focusing on sustainability, it's like the rising tide that lifts all the ships. Leadership in a family business is an interesting challenge. Being the youngest member of our family, I had certain challenges, obviously, to be a leader in the family as well. But when we look at the area where we live, it is such a small community and it's such a remote community that at the end of the day, everybody in the area also becomes a larger extended family. So depending on the value that you add and the contribution you make, it's easy to be a leader. Leaders that inspire me are first of all my parents. Further leaders that I look up to are the political leaders in South Africa that helped embrace the turmoil and change that took place in the early 1990s. People like Nelson Mandela and Archbishop Desmond Tutu, Evie de Klerk and Fancel Slubbert, these people 
had all the odds against them and they came out on the other side shining. Thank <laughs> you.